Good morning, man. How you doing? See you, man. You doing you got, all right? Got rid of the beard. Got rid of it. I had That's to, my favorite. I know. Well, <laughs> Beck's like, you're looking old, bro. You need to shave it. And I'm like, all right. Hey, tell us a little what we're doing today here. Uh, folks at home, folks at home, we're at the first annual Ike Foundation charity event on the Delaware River, part tournament, part kids event, dinner and, and celebrity auction tonight. Hey, you know, what, you know what I'm happy about? Tell me. That you're not in it, because I know that would be an automatic win <laughs> if you were playing. You were in this tournament, man. I don't know about that. This is a tough river. I can tell you this. I went out earlier in the week. I filmed with Dave Mercer. Yeah. Fished all day. Caught four keepers. Four keepers? Tough river, bro. It's tough. Dead low in Philadelphia is about 11, 30, 12 o'clock. So it's outgoing tide yep. all day. All right. Thanks for the info, and uh, see you after the weigh-in. See you Have later. fun with the kids. Okay. We'll see you. So you guys just heard we're fishing the Iconelli charity event today. Partners right here, Samurai Angler. <laughs> Yo, Rob, what are we gunning for today? Uh, we want, we don't really want the bass, but we want the lawnmower. The lawnmower. It's an X mark, $12,000. You know how much lawns we'll be cutting if we win that lawnmower, <laughs> no, man? Dude, we could cut everything. Let's get on the water. All of New Jersey. So we're all checked in, got all the gear, nothing tied on right now. I thought, uh, since I haven't been here in a while, I'd check out the river, scope it out a little. What do you guys think is good for today? We got Leo, local. What's, the, what's gonna be hitting today, man? Hey man, I go Senkos for the win, always man. Senkos for the win? Yeah. Let me check the water, I'm not sure about the Senkos today. Maybe though. Here's a glimpse of the river, it's looking pretty stained. Did have some rain last week. Cloudy, windy conditions. Let's tie on some moving baits. So I'm still in the middle of rigging up here, but look who we found! <laughs> How you guys doing? Fishing today with Chris Zaldane. Zaldane yeah. You've won two titles? Yeah, yeah. You know, we got a couple titles on the, you know, Bassmaster Elite Series. And, uh, you know, the last time I was out here on the on the Delaware River, it didn't treat me so kindly. I'm excited to get back out there. I see the tide's falling out there it today. Is. So that's probably the best tide to fish out here in, in any any tidal fishery. Uh, but uh, I'm excited to go out there, Mike. And, hey, I'm uh, looking forward to it. We'll yeah, see you. Uh, we'll absolutely. get on them. Absolutely. <laughs> All right, we made it just in time, we rigged up, got a couple of jig, finesse jig, shaky head, spinner bait, square bill, ready to roll. Everyone's here, ready to rock. So we're about to head out. To give you guys a little background, there's about 50 teams entered. 20 of them are like me, getting paired up with Zaldane. 19 other people getting paired up with other pros like Palinik. Got other, who else we got down here? Which pros do we have down oh, here, man? We, got, we just had uh, Cliff, the Cajun baby. Oh, I see Carl Jockinson, the Australian down there. Kevin Van Dam, of course. Fletcher right, so we got we got a pretty competitive field here, and then we're gonna have about 30 people who brought their own boat. They'll be competing as well. So it's gonna be a good tournament. Yeah. Ready to head out there? Let's, Let's go. Let's do it, guys. All right, here we are. Uh, here we go. Dude, right there. Samurai hat. Oh, you got all the swag going, oh, man. Oh yeah, dude, that's <laughs> awesome. This is our first spot, and uh, back in 2014 we had a tournament here. And there's a lot of fish scattered along these rocks. It's just all about this, this tide, and it looks like it's about half halfway out, and that's just perfect. You see the you know the tide was up here, it's dropping down, so all these little rocky points are exposed. So that's what we're going after. We're going to fish this whole rock stretch. Let's see what we come up with. Sounds good. Fingers crossed for a good morning bite. Right. The best stretch that I found is going to be past that little outcropping. See that, that one point? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you got one? one? What? Yeah. Oh, it's a good oh, fish. Yeah. Get him in. Get him in. Get him in. Swing him in. Yes, let's go. <laughs> Rob, we've been nice, fishing for what? Like dude. five minutes? Nice, yeah, he man. hit it right at the boat, too, man. Yeah. 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 That's what we need. That's exactly the size we need, man. Nice. That's what I'm talking yeah. about. Air bump. Boom. That's how we started off. Well, there we go, guys. Now good. it got serious, man. Some gnarly looking stuff right here. You can break, you just break it if you don't. I got plenty of baits. Oh, whoa! Well, dude, that's a nice technique right there. Uh, as you guys can tell, he does this for a living. <laughs> I'm gonna go back what do you call that technique? I'm gonna go back <laughs> That's uh, I hope I don't break my rod tip technique. <laughs> so you just launch the rod and reel at it, use that as the weight to pluck it off. Yeah. That's got to be the most clicks he's gotten. But one of the, that's got to be a high number of clicks. Oh, we got we all of us are in there. You got a good one? Oh man, he does have a good one. Oh my gosh. Oh dude, land. Oh. oh. Let's go. Oh my god, are you kidding me? Dude. That's <laughs> yes. Oh, yes, that's a Delaware River giant. Oh dude. my gosh! Oh, yes! Oh, oh. <laughs> the bait just popped out. Oh, yeah, Guys, he's throwing a baby chowder bait. A little tiny. Look at that. Little, 
Yes. That is awesome. That Can is you believe sweet. that? That's a giant right That's there. That's a giant for this river. Hey. Yes. We're going to win a lawnmower. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> we're going to win a lawnmower. <laughs> yes. Good job, man. Dude, that is all right, guys. I casted like that was all, no, that was awesome. We all were just casting. Are you hooked up. Where were you casting? Tell us about that catch. Yeah, absolutely. I, you know, it's just a, a perfect. We're on a, a mid outgoing tide, and the water's real clean right here. It's just swiping by. Uh, water's real warm, so I went with this little vibrating jig right here, a little chatter bait. I casted right there on that current break, and that fish ate about a three pounder. So that's a big one for the Delaware dude, River, dude. That's bigger than three. Pump, that's a good yeah, fish. Yeah. Woo! Prime time this right now. It. It's gonna slow a, down. Yeah, this is a you know the mid outgoing, mid to low outgoing. I mean that's perfect. So all the fish that were up, you know, up shallow, they're trying to use every single little shallow target. There's one. See that one rock sticking out? Right there? Yeah. There's a piece of trash on top of that. It's like that's the deal. When you caught your fish, it was the most classic spot it I've is, seen. It is. No. It's just a current break. I mean, that fish sets up there for 20 or 30 minutes. You know, on that on that that tide window sets up there and picks off everything that's went by. So we're two hours into the tournament, have not landed another fish yet. I've missed a lot of bites. I'm about to pull out the Lunkers TV special. There you go. That's what that is. <laughs> Sounds cool. Impressive little box you got a little, there. A little, little variety here. Oh, everything oh, I need, because I don't want to carry too much stuff. That's impressive. Bro. But I got everything I need. So we're tying on the finesse spinner bait, 3 sixteenths of an ounce. One Rob right there caught a nine pounder on. Yeah. I'm, I'm planning on catching a 10 today to beat his record. We're making a second run through where we hit before. We're about to get up to where Chris nailed that nice bass. Yeah. We got a little competition. What's going on up there? Yeah, it looks like uh, about 300 yards up. There's the man, Kevin Van Dam himself. It's funny, two years ago in 2014, him and I both fished this stretch on the exact same tide. And here we are again. Round two. We, yeah. We get to catch up with old Ke KB, Uncle Kevin and find out how he's been doing this morning. Oh, I got a little perch bump, I think. Oh, you got one? Oh, non-keeper. Non 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 Throw it back in. Yeah. <laughs> I'll toss it back here and keep on moving. Since Kevin's hitting, there's a couple really nice ambush points up here that we got to beat Kevin to. How we doing? Oh, it's just like I remember it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, get her. Uh oh. Oh, that's a good. There you go. That's a keeper. <laughs> Man, right? Is that a girl? <laughs> fish number one. Fish number one, all right. Couple shots of that. Nice be, one. Nice that fish. Nice here. fish. Yeah. So we got a couple more hours to try to get him. Then it's going to be a real grind. What do you do when it gets, uh, once that tide is super low and the slack tide, how do you, yeah, so what's your approach? It's super low, you still stay in the real shallow water, but a lot of times you want to get up on shallow flats and find any piece of isolated cover. Once the tide gets real low, that cover becomes real scarce for those fish. So they want to find anything they can get on. So once that tide gets real low like that, we're going to, we're going to switch gears and, and fish more isolated stuff. So we're about to make a move, not having much luck. What's uh, next on the list, yeah, man? Yeah, so this is our first spot. We made two passes on it, kind of slowed down. It's, you know, this is the Delaware River and it's very, very tidal. You hit those little tide windows. So we're going to make a quick adjustment and switch from the hardcover rocks to uh, arrowheaded pads. So. We're going into the back of the creek. The wa uh, water's getting real low, so the backs of the creeks, um, all the cover should be real apparent. So every little isolated piece of cover we find should have a fish on it. So that's the idea anyways. We're gonna crank up here and make a, a quick move. So we're in the creek right now, and you guys can tell that's the water level it goes all the way up. Yeah, it's, it's like five and a half low. Five and a half feet, pretty much low slack tide, low not low. looking good. Yeah, let's do that and let's leave sooner than later. I don't wanna- Yeah, don't waste time here. Time. We need to find yeah. current. Yeah, well, well, let's fish up to this rocky point and we'll get out of here. Sounds good. Got him. Oh, you got him? No, it's a catfish. Let's see, that's a catfish. Yeah, that's a big, that's a good sized catfish. Woo! Oh, there goes my rod. Oh, no. Dude, <laughs> people always break rods with me. Are you kidding? I think you're uh, completely we, bad luck. We were just talking about that. Catfish, broken rod. Awesome. <laughs> Literally every time I fish with someone, <laughs> I, they end up breaking a rod. <laughs> he just throws it back out there. Interesting action. Nice trailer you got on the uh, chatterbait. Cat's real nice. It's, become, it's become, gone, gone like about a four foot heavy action rod now. Something like that. So we're about to finish up a tournament, guys. We still only have two fish in the live well. Two fish in the live well. We got a nice one and then a little one that Rob caught back there. And 
man, I, I don't know. It's just the Del Delaware River is tough altogether. But just to you know, just to have a few bites, I mean, that's pretty good. We were we th we had a really good start on that outgoing tide. Uh, I think our best shot here in the last five minutes or so is this point coming up, and Mike's gonna throw that chatterbait up there and see how we do. We're gonna give a couple more casts, but uh, we're gonna see you back at the weigh-in and. No matter what happens, man, it's an yeah, awesome fun, experience. Yeah, Had a lot of fun, cool. learned a lot from you, appreciate it. <laughs> right on, likewise. So I missed the weigh-in, but apparently first place went to Joe Sancho. Congrats, Joe. How much weight did he have? 11 pounds something. 11 pounds, that's pretty good. That's really good for this river. 11 pounds total. We had five pounds for two fish, so we weren't even close, but next time, next year, I'm coming back. All right, man, we're out here. With Brandon Polinick, we're enjoying some nice apple juice. Pretty good stuff. Delicious apple juice. What is the most awkward moment you've ever had on tour? The most awkward moment on tour. Oh, yeah, we know that. So you might have to give me a second to think about that one. Go for it, take a second. Uh, I, can, I can edit it out, so it's cool. Gosh dang. Uh, I'm trying to think of the most awkward. Or I can pick, I can pick a new question if you need a new question. Yeah, I don't know. I really haven't had that many awkward moments on All tour. Right. All right. So here's a new question. He can't think of an awkward moment. So you're not AP, so I know you don't have tons of awkward moments. He's what, just awkward in general. That's true. <laughs> what is the craziest fish catch you've ever had on tour? Oh, gosh dang. Uh, so you're asking questions that are like really hard. Alright, do you need another about. question? Do you need one more question? I mean, gosh dang. Um, <laughs> like six years, awkward fish catch. Um, okay, give me another one. Alright, All right, another question. Another one. New question, Brandon. How many times a week do you use Tinder? <laughs> Zero. Okay, thank you. Zero. Girlfriend of five years that I love, so sure. that would be a zero. All right, fair enough. Hey, yeah. thanks for coming by. Appreciate it, man. Yeah, you're welcome. Enjoy the apple juice. Thanks. <laughs> yeah, you're good. I got All you. Right. Here you go. Here's for your apple juice, man. I need that. So we are here with Trait, yep. pro women's open angler, yep. and wife of Chris Daldane. Mm -hmm. So <laughs> I have one question for you. Mm -hmm. Two questions, actually. One, what is your proudest moment as an angler? Uh, that eight pounder I caught on the James last year. Eight pounder. She was old too, beautiful. That's bigger than my PB. Yeah. And question number two, what is the dumbest thing Chris has ever done? Marry me, probably. <laughs> Not uh, a smart career move. Hey, well, I mean, you fish? You're cute? Who wouldn't want to do that? I have a loud mouth. I'm going to get him in trouble. All right, well, next we take you to the and Good luck in the future. Appreciate it. Guys, I'm out here with Ish Monroe. Ish, what is the most interesting experience you've ever had on tour? Man, there's billions of them. Take, you can take a second. So you uh, take a second about it. Man, I, I don't know. I mean, from catching 35 pounds on tour to actually seeing probably a world record fish on a bed. You I, saw a world what did that happen? Tell us about that experience. Well, in 2006, we went to Amistad for the first time. Yeah. And so I run as far as I possibly can from everybody to the Mexico side. I'm back in this creek, and I'm going down the bank, and I'm marking all these five-pounders, and I'm thinking that they're going to be good ones. They're not for that oh. tournament. Okay. So all of a sudden, there's this giant bed, and there's this fish. And I guarantee you, it's sitting there. It's like that long, and it's that wide. It's the biggest, that wide? Yeah, it's that wide. It's like the, I'm thinking it's a carp. It's so big. Okay, all right. And I'm sitting there like, fish for it, wait for it in the tournament. Fish for it, wait for it to, I decided to wait for it in the tournament, and he never showed back up, and I was sick to my stomach, knowing that I should probably call that fish, because it was probably close to a world record fish. What's your personal best bass? 14 pounds, one oh, ounce. I would have shattered it. I would have shattered it. Shattered it, big time. But it's a tournament for 100 grand. I ended up still winning the tournament, though. Oh, you still won the tournament? Still won the tournament, right, so 100 grand about. 100 grand. That's good stuff, man. Yep. Thanks for talking. No problem. Guys, I'm here with Hillary, another open angler, Ish's girlfriend. I have uh, one question for you. Okay. What is the dumbest thing Ish has ever done? <laughs> oh my gosh. Um, he accidentally switched the wires on his batteries Ooh. and fried everything and uh, wondered why his motor wouldn't start the next morning. So I have to give that probably as one of the dumbest because he's very smart. That was not smart. <laughs> that definitely not smart. Yeah. Thanks for taking the time. Good luck in the open. Thanks. See you on the Elite.